Earlier this year, I showed my mom the Lord of the Rings trilogy for the first time. The video got over a million views and gained my channel a shit ton of subscribers, and it felt pretty amazing. My parents were proud, my sister was thrilled, my girlfriend isn't real, and the fans demanded more. That's why, for the next two months, I'll be showing my mom every single Harry Potter movie. And there are eight of them. So, uh... Hooray! I have arrived. We began our journey into the wizarding world on August 15th. Heather being a fucking dork showed up in costume. That was pretty good. <laughs> While my mom, whose only knowledge of Harry Potter is the Universal rides, gave us her thoughts going into the movie series. At, at the end of the day, I think that I know this is like magical stuff or something like that, but I'm 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 gonna go with it. Like I think I'm gonna like it. Yeah. So here's That's to lot. probably close to 20 hours of just pure bliss. I'm sure. <laughs> Cheers. And I decided to give my two cents as well. It's fine. I remember uh, I saw this in theaters when I was 10 years old. And I remember thinking, when I was 10, I'm too old for this. So that is my opinion of this movie. <laughs> what is that? Where's um, you help me up? Okay, same rules apply. If it's confusing, it's magic. I should have known that you would be there here. Once he decided to kill her. <laughs> no way! You heard what Madame Hood said. Besides, you don't even know how to fly. What an idiot! <laughs> Wingardium Lenesa. Stop! 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 stop. You're going to take someone's eye. Besides, you're saying it wrong. Bit early for mail, isn't it? But I, I never get mail. Let's open it. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, if Snape's cloak hadn't caught fire and broken my eye contact, I would have succeeded. Oh! <laughs> Harry Potter! We meet again. Yes, yes, well done, Slytherin, well done, Slytherin. However, Recent events must be taken into account. What an asshole! <laughs> did you like it? Liked it. I did. Yeah. I did. You could dress Feel up good movie. Gremlin. Feel good movie. Uh, I didn't like that bully guy, so I'm glad that whole part of the school dorm, whatever, didn't win. Dad, you've seen it before. What do you think? Uh, I think I've seen it before. Okay, cool. The screening went pretty well, and even my mom, who claims to not be into fantasy, seemed to enjoy it. I thought the movie was alright, and even my dad seemed to secretly like it, but I couldn't help but bring up the 7.6 IMDb score, which is pretty high for this kind of thing. Does that and actually like, mean anything? It means it's good, but there's so much of it that's like... Like the villain at the end, the mustache twirling, whatever quill, quinn, <laughs> He's like, here's my evil plan the whole time, Harry Potter. 
you know? <laughs> Stupid bullshit. It's not a bad movie, like the world building is really good. And I also like the fact that Universal Studios in Florida was, was uh, clever enough to really want to recreate a lot of the, the set design, as she said, because it was fabulous. When I started to watch this movie, the reason that I got so intrigued with it initially is just because I was there. So, since you like this movie already, do we have to do this seven more times? We started off our second movie night by recreating the best thing to come out of the Harry Potter universe. We're making a uh, butterbeer. It's basically just cream soda with a disgusting amount of sugar on top, but it's also super delicious. I can't wait to have 300 calories of this shit. Yeah. Both might die tonight. <laughs> the drinks were done, and the only thing left to do was taste it. I'm gonna stop narrating now. Cheers. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's so cute. Where did he even come from? That's what. I'm just in the room. Where did he come from? Do you hear that? We must be getting close. Hold on. It's behind us. Wow. Voice. Oh, is this the movie with Tom Riddle? Didn't you hear it? You know, I dated Tom Riddle. But are you talking about Harry? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think you're being a bit, uh... Brachium. Emendo! Hello! Yeah, I like that second better than the first one. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I think it's like, it's more engaging. And I like the ending, it's like a feel-good mm. ending. It was fun. It was wonderful. I gotta say, Dad, that dad joke was on point. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you had one good dad joke in there. So, um, I, I thought the beginning was good and I thought the end was good and somehow in there, probably about a half hour before it ended, I managed to like shut my eyes and I fell asleep for like just this much. Not too bad, but I definitely know I fell asleep. He just... Right. Did you see him fight the snake? I did and I felt, I felt, I felt bad. For the snake. I did. <laughs> did you enjoy this more than the first one? 
I, actually, no. I enjoyed the first one more. You did? It, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Because it set the stage for everything. I, I, uh, um, it was a great start to this long series, right? So I really did enjoy it. And then this one, I felt it was a little, certain parts were just lingering a little bit longer than it was necessary. Hey, did you like the part when um, uh, Voldemort got bested by a child for the third time in a row so far? Mm. <coughs> it's a great. What? Do you think it like slightly limits the tension of like the main villain who's so evil no one can say his name, but he lost to a baby, an eleven-year-old, and a twelve-year-old? No one. <laughs> no one thinks that like undermines how evil the the most evil guy in the universe keeps losing to a child. Is um, this series of movies really that good? <laughs> is what I'm trying to get at. Is it really that good? It's better than Lord of the Rings. No, it's not. <laughs> You liked it a lot, really. Yep, I liked it a lot more than, than the second one. And I don't even know why. I mean, it was just action, 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 and it had a really good storyline. This one? And, yeah. What? You didn't think the second one had action? It was stupid action. The last one with the car and the thing like that. You know, this, this one, one. had a bus. Oh, yeah, but that was quick. But I think that it was like a. a the chasing and the characters and going from a person to a rat and a rat to the person. It was just like I had to sit there and like I had to follow it, you know, I had to pay attention. You, you actually got all of it too. Oh, I did, yeah. Heather, did you like the movie? I like this one better than the first and the second. Really? Yeah, I think so. I like like the going back in time thing and I liked how they saved the, um, the guy. Bird. Yes. Yep. This, this one is, uh, it's pretty good, I think. I wasn't really, like, absorbed in the mystery of it all that much. But execution-wise, I think it was good. You know what was really sad, though? Oh, here we go. Joke coming. No. Dad joke. No joke. Come on. Yeah. What was really no. sad? It was sad the pumpkin got it. I was sad about the pumpkin. What? 
How are you feeling going into this movie? Um, good. I like the last one a lot. And remember the third one. It was good. Yeah. So we'll see what happens with this one. I didn't think number two was very entertaining. So going to three was great. And then I, I hope I'm not disappointed. I don't think I will be. All right, Dad, you've seen this movie before. Do you I'm remember anything it. about it? I kind of remember that when Harry's Potter name emerges from the Goblet of Fire, he becomes a competitor in the grueling battle for glory among three wizarding <laughs> schools. Wait a minute. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I don't know how I remember that. <laughs> oh, wow. Goblet of Fire. Oh, sir. Yes, one of the oldest students to do it for you. Oh, sir. You're absolutely sure. Yes, yeah, sir. Mm -hmm. What? 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 Harry, I couldn't Ooh. risk sending him. Ever since the World Cup, the Ministry has been intercepting more and more hours, so she's too easy to break about. What is it? What, what are you doing? Teaching. Is that a is that a student? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? I don't know where to start. 
I really don't know where to start. <laughs> Did you enjoy your movie experience? That was horrible. <laughs> was horrible. Why Whole was it thing. horrible? Because every one of those three things, those three, whatever you want to, events, whatever, um, was, what, what were those three things the three called? Events? Events. Tournaments? Yeah, whatever. tournaments. Uh, each one of them was right there. That was like unnerving. It was scary. Like my heart was up here somewhere. And then at the end with that boy dying, I mean, that was horrible. It shouldn't have happened in this series. I didn't expect that to happen in a hot. That's why it's PG-13. Harry, Harry Potter series. So this is a PG. Kevin warned you that this was the PG-13 one. Yep. Would you say it's like the Empire Strikes Back of the Harry Potter series? <laughs> it's what everyone says when there's a dark movie sequel. Oh, I thought this one was good. It was a good movie. I mean, I'm actually beginning to really re-like the Harry Potter series. Um, you know, the... I look forward to these things now, Kev. This movie's okay. It's pretty, I mean, it's, I thought the beginning of this one was really slow. Yeah, I do oh. think the beginning was slow. Right? I think, I think it had the worst opening of yeah. all of them. It felt very dry. But I feel like finally there's some stakes involved in the series, whereas everything else felt like a children's film. And this is like, shit gets real, and there's like, real tension. Okay, so Heather, did you like, you like Voldemort? I don't like him. Well, do you like, you know, his character? No. Do you think he's entertaining to watch? Yeah, he looks weird. Do you think he's like a poor man's Palpatine, though? What does that mean? Emperor Palpatine? Star Wars? Who's Palpatine? Emperor Palpatine. I don't remember who the Oh. Do it. Hmm. Wait, is he like Emperor Palpatine? He's like a poor man's palp- Dad! What does a poor man's Palpatine mean? A poor man's- Emperor Palpatine is the main bad guy in Star Wars, okay? It's one of the best evil bad guy performances in all of movies. And so now Ralph Fiennes comes in, or whatever, I think that's his name. And he comes in, and he's Voldemort, and Voldemort is basically like a younger, smoother skinned, not as scary looking Emperor Palpatine. Am I right? No. Oh. Yeah. They both have no motive other than they're evil. That's their whole character, you know? And I just feel like Voldemort oh, yeah. is What's kind of his... like a little flamboyant drama queen. What's so his, um... <laughs> the way he holds the wand, he's got the... <laughs> he's just going after a kid. That's his whole... He's not scary is what I'm trying to say. He seems scary. He's got a cool entrance, you know? They chop the dudes... Like, his, the build-up for Voldemort is cool, but again... Four times now. How many times are you going to lose to a child? That's true. Voldemort. <laughs> hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see part two, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified when it comes out. And real quick, I want to thank all of my top tier patrons for supporting me and making this video possible. So thank you, Riley. I appreciate it. You're awesome. As for everyone else, I will see you guys next time.